Hi Gratefuls! For today's video, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-ginagamit ng fill up, fill in, at fill out kasama ng angry at, angry with, at shout to, and shout at. Now, if you want to learn the differences of those phrases, then stay tuned! Okay, first one, we have fill up. So when we say fill up, it generally means to make something full. So parang pupunuin mo yung isang lagayan, yung isang bagay. Example niya, fill up this tank with gasoline. So pupunuin yung tanke na yon ng gasolina, fill up. Ibig sabihin, lalagyan sa salinan, pupunuin. Fill up this bag with makeup. Punuin mo tong bag na to ng makeup. So, fill up, ibig sabihin, lalagyan at pupunuin. Kapag naman ang ibig sabihin natin ay sagutan ang form na ito or lagyan ng sagot ang form na ito, ang dapat na gamitin natin ay fill out. Fill out, ibig sabihin, sasagutan yung mga nandoon sa form. Susulatan ng mga hinihingi impormasyon. Example, ma'am, kindly fill out this form to file your request. Next, I will fill out the registration form for the junior senior prom. Fill out, may form kang susulatan. Okay, third one, fill in. Ginagamit natin ito sa tatlong paraan. First one, we use it to replace something that is missing. So kapag may nawawala, ang gagamitin natin ay fill in. Fill in the blanks with the correct word to make the statement right. So ibig sabihin may nawawalang salita, kaya kailangan mong punan yung salitang iyon. Next, we also use fill in to substitute an absent person. So, kung may isang taong wala or lumiban, ang gagamitin natin ay fill in. Example, Mr. Alcaraz, please report to the school today because we need somebody to fill in the geology class because Mr. Pass is absent today. So, when we say fill in, ibig sabihin may isang tao na may specific role siyang ginagampanan. Pag absent siya, yung papalit sa kanya, ang verb na gagamitin natin doon ay fill in. Ibig sabihin, i-replace or papalitan. Third one, ginagamit naman natin ito to write something in the form. So, fill in the form. Oy, ma'am, bakit po fill in? Kanina, sabi niyo po fill out kapag form. Yes, fill out po kapag buong form ang kailangang sagutan. Now, kapag fill in ang ginamit natin, ibig sabihin may specific parts lang ng form na dapat sagutan. Example, fill in the name field of this form or fill in up to this part. Ibig sabihin, hindi yung buong form na yun ay sasagutan. Meron lang part na sasagutan, kaya fill in. Pagkabuo, fill out ang gagamitin. Yan, example pa ng fill in. Fill in the monthly income in this cedula form. So, ibig sabihin yung monthly income mo lang yung susulatan mo doon sa cedula form. Kapag lahat ng blank sa cedula ay susulatan, ang verb dapat ay fill out. So, fill out the cedula form. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng blank doon ay susulatan mo. Alright, next one, we have angry at and angry with. Now, when we use angry at, it means that the anger is directed to an object or an animal. So, kung sa isang bagay o sa isang hayop kagalit, ang gagamitin natin ay angry at. Tandaan, angry at, parang cat. Okay? Cat, pusa kasi hayop. Angry at. Galit ka sa isang hayop o sa isang bagay. Example, Belle is angry at my dog because it bit her new dress. Alex will be angry at this stupid camera because it would not even stabilize. So, galit si Alex dun sa camera at si Belle ay galit dun sa aso. Kaya ang ginamit natin ay at. Angry at. Tandaan yung cat. Pusa. Hayop. Angry at. Now, when we say anger with, it means that the anger is directed to a person. So, sa tao kagalit. Angry with ang gagamitin natin. Are you angry with me? Kasi tao ka, tao rin ako. So, are you angry with me? It's my fault. Don't be angry with Bonnie. So, tao si Bonnie, kaya angry with. I think he's angry with you. You ay tao yan, so I think he's angry with you. Okay, now tandaan na uh, yung angry at, di ba sinabi ko kanina na ginagamit ito kapag ka sa hayop or sa bagay kagalit, pwede rin pala tong gamitin sa tao. Ang tanong kailan? We will use angry at if the person displays an anger with matching facial expression, attitude, body language, and tone of voice. So, kapag galit na, 
yung tao na nagdabog na siya na meron tayong uh, parang ebidensya na galit siya na nag, yung kamay niya, halatang galit, yung mukha niya, galit na galit talaga. So, pwede natin gamitin yung angry at. Sheila is angry at you. You must return her cell phone now. So, siguro nakita ko na nagdabog si Sheila kaya sinabi kong angry at kasi merong actions na galit. Mom is angry at my brothers. So, siguro nakita ko si mom na talagang baka pinalo yung mga kapatid ko lalaki kasi angry at yung ginamit eh. Merong nangyaring physical na galit. Next one, we have shout at versus shout to. When we say shout to, it means somebody raised his or her voice to make himself or herself heard. Gusto mo lang na marinig ka, nilaksan mo lang yung boses mo, kaya ang sinabi mo ay shout to. Example, don't shout to me our Wi-Fi password. So, it can be a shout from a distant place para marinig nga nung isang tao yung kausap. Don't shout to me our Wi-Fi password. My mom shouted to me because I forgot to bring my packed lunch. So, sinigon ako ng mama ko or sumigaw si mama ko kasi nakalimutan kong dalihin yung baon ko. Shout to, nilaksan lang yung boses. Now, when we say shout at, this one involves emotion. Ibig sabihin galit talaga to, shout at. Example, it will create an abusive environment if the boss is always shouting at his or her employees. Shouting at, ibig sabihin galit yung boss dun sa mga employees kaya siya sumisigaw. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shout at you at the ceremony. So, shout at you, ibig sabihin sinigawan at galit siya kanina. Now, additional lang, when we say shout with, ibig sabihin naman ay kasamang sumigaw. Shout with me so our mom can hear us. So, so parang, tara, sigo, sumigaw tayo, saman mo ako sumigaw para marinig tayo ni mama. So, shout with me. Yung shout out naman is anything that is uh, similar to an announcement. So, when I say shout out sa lahat ng gratefuls na nanonood, ibig sabihin binabati ko kayo at ina-announce ko yung pangalan ninyo. Shout out. Speaking of that, yan, shout out sa lahat ng gratefuls natin dyan. Kung nasan ka man, mag-order ka na at supportahan mo ang Charlene TV. Ito yung merch natin, Top Smart Shaming. Nasa baba yung link, pwede nyo ma-order sa Shopee. And asahan kayo support, mag-grateful. And you have a good day. Bye-bye!